So about a year ago today, I was such an emotional wreck, uh, such a depressed emotional wreck. Uh, I had to be dis prescribed these guys right here, right? And uh, for those of you who don't know, or those of you who are lacking that x-ray vision to see through the bottle, what's inside here is uh, Cetraline. And the, um, the brand name for that is Zola. And for those of you who are fortunate enough to not know what this is, uh, really, it's an anti it's a common antidepressant for men uh, my age, just a bump. And I was prescribed it last year. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you why these guys in particular, well, antidepressants in particular, just fucking suck for men. And to start it off, I'll give you a little bit of context. Uh, like I said, last year, um, if I didn't have that intervention, I probably would have KMS'd. You know, I gotta, I gotta keep it YouTube friendly. But without getting into too much into that, I could get very depressed. Therefore, that's why I was prescribed those. And um, initially, it helped me with like the anxiety feeling I would get. You know, like uh, it helped lower those invasive thoughts. You know, to go out and go KMS, right? Uh, but after a bit. You know, I noticed it stopped working on me, right? That's the first instance of it sucking. And after I was recently prescribed them, you know, uh, they they tell you not to take any, not to take any drinks with it until you really know how the how it affects you, how the cetraline affects your body, right? And you know, I was about on it for like two, three weeks, right? And then later. Uh, excuse me, my roommate, he uh, he had his little birthday party back at his his uh, parents' place, right? And there was drinks there and whatnot. And since being prescribed the cetraline, I haven't, I don't know how my body interacts with like cetraline and alcohol, right? So I get to the party, we're chat, we're, you know, talking it up or whatever. And, uh, you know, I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll take a few drinks. And then I notice, you know, like based on being off of this, I take like one shot, bro. It feels like I'm fucking four deep, nigga. I'm, I'm about to start dancing off of one shot, right? You know, I, and at the time, I really didn't think much of that because, you know, I'm drunk, having a good time, you know, turning up, bro, right? Party goes on. The whole party is fine, right? I'm fine. Look, everything looks good, okay? Yeah, everything looks good at the party, for me at least, right? And so I get back in my, um, roommate's car and we're gonna drive back to you know our dorm because you know this took place last year when i was a freshman in college right but uh we're driving back to the dorm and then my roommate looks over to me and he's like hayden you don't look too good right and i look back at him dead in the face i'm like well sam i don't feel too <laughs> right and i threw up all in this man's car, bro. Like, and it wasn't just one heave. I kept going. Like we had to pull. Like we were on a we were on a highway, man. We had to pull over to the side of the road so I could continue to throw up out the side of his car, man. And uh, after this point, I, I I blacked out. Right. I don't really remember much else after that. I just remember like bits and pieces. Uh, and I remember we had to go to the. <laughs> we went to a restroom, man. Uh, a gas station restroom. And because, you know, I just expelled everything that was just inside of me, I just, uh, the gas station clerk looked at me and uh, that's the only other thing I remember from that night. You know, that gas station clerk looking at me with, a, with just a look of disgust. You know, just, he was appalled at me because I was walking into that bitch with throw up all over my shirt. And I was walking into this, into his restroom to, throw up even more so yeah he was perfectly justified in giving me that death stare now that past story doesn't really explain why antidepressants suck for men in particular it just really explains why they suck for idiots who drink while taking antidepressants right but this next story i'm gonna get into why it really sucks for guys right one of the reasons Right? You know, if you're a guy watching this, you know, you like to, you know, especially after 
puberty, uh, you like to do certain guy things that I, I, I'm being I'm beating around the bush because I really don't know if YouTube's gonna how YouTube's gonna react to this. But uh, yeah, if you're a guy, you know you like to do certain guy things, and that leads to you expelling a certain guy stuff, right? But on this sexually shit, bro, you can't do that. You cannot do that. Fuck the filter, bro. It takes me three hours to masturbate when I'm on Cetraline. What the hell is that? That is not right, bro. And part of the reason it takes three hours is because half the fight is trying to keep my fucking dick up. What the fuck? I gotta keep... Man, part of the reason I was on antidepressants was because I was getting no bitches, bro. And I was getting depressed about that, right? And so... We're not bitches. I don't know why I say bitches. But I digress. I'm just saying bitches because I'm mad. But anyways, I was depressed because I wasn't getting no play, right? And so I start taking these. My mood changes a little bit, right? And coincidentally, I start getting some play. But uh, like I said, these fucking antidepressants suck for guys in particular, right? Now imagine this. Imagine this. You're about to lose your virginity, right? You, I don't have to imagine this because it happened to me, right? I'm about to lose my virginity, right? I, I literally have a girl right next to me. You know, she's an amazing girl, uh, whatever, right? It's about to happen. But guess what? My dick doesn't want it to fucking happen, bro. So I stayed like, Semi, like, yeah, semi soft, like the whole internet, like the whole time, bro. And it was so, it was so awkward, like that, like that's a whole video on itself. But yeah, these fucking antidepressants, they'll fucking kill your dick, bro. And that's not the first time, that's not the only time that happened. That happened to two other people, so three people in total that had me, like, this sexually embarrassed me in front of, bro. Three people. When I was supposed to be getting hard, I just wasn't. Because this fucking stupid shit, man. But yeah. That's, that, that's the main reason why I wanted to make this video. Um, These motherfuckers suck for men. They will kill your dick. But I just don't want to shit on antidepressants. You know how shitty they can be. Because, you know, I, you know what? Now that I think about it, after, you know, I took these... It only helped me not feel, you know, as depressed for like a month or two. It was, and I think that was just mostly placebo, bro, or something. But the one thing that this does do, uh, when I was taking them, it only really helped me get out of bed. <laughs> it only gave me the energy to get out of bed, really. But uh, yeah, overall, antidepressants suck. Only thing this will do is give you a little bit of energy to get out of bed and get your day done. But other than that, you're, do, you're risking that at the sacrifice of uh, blood getting to your fucking cock. So, up to you if you wanna take them or not, if you feel like you need them. I don't even know how this video is gonna be structured, bro. I just turned on the camera and started talking. But um, yeah, I'm gonna end the video right here.